Good afternoon, guys. Today's lecture is going to be about the summary. This lecture is a, a, a video recorded one. I'm going to upload it on my YouTube channel, and also I'm going to post it on uh, uh, on the page of Edmodo. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this summary, this summary, uh, how to summarize? That's very important. Please, I'm going to share here. Can you see it? Can you see the sharing? Yes. Okay. Uh, the question says, read the following article about a music journalist who tried to learn how to conduct uh, an orchestra. Write a summary of the advice given on how to conduct an orchestra. Your summary should be about 100 words long and no more than 120 words long. That means you've got 100 to 120 only. Not 99, not 121, okay? Okay. You should use your own words as far as possible. You will receive up to six marks for the content. Sorry, just let me admit from Mukhalid. Okay, you should, uh, sorry, you will receive up to six marks for the content of your summary and up to five marks for the style and uh, accuracy of your language. Okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, any questions here? No, no. Start, uh, when did no. this lecture start? Uh, we have just started, Mukhalid. Oh, then can you repeat it? Yes, please. Here, it talks about summary. Okay. Sorry, just a second. Mukhalid? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay, now I'm going to stop the sharing. Then I'm going to restart this one. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. No problem. Okay, guys. This lecture is about summary. Here, uh, I'm sharing the information here. Read the following article about a music journalist. Write a summary of the advice given on how to conduct an orchestra. Your summary should be 100 words long and no more than 120 words long. That means 100 to 120. No more, no less. You should use your own words as far as possible. Uh, this one is taken from a real IG, IGCSE uh, test, an actual one which was done in 2016. I'm going to read the text for you and after that i'm going to read which of information you should put okay 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 now the text says i've had some strange requests from my editor in the past i've been to a concert in a prison I've attended a performance where each member of the audience had to listen to the music through individual headphones. I've watched bands playing on rooftops, but I was not prepared when my editor greeted me one morning with these words. How do you feel about trying to conduct an orchestra? With a rising sense of panic, I realized that I could not even read sheet music and started to regret the fact that I'd given up violin lessons of the age of 10. Okay, before I go on, is it better that you read it by yourselves or to read, them, to read the information for you? I believe that if you read, read it by yourselves, you, uh, you may get better information about. What would you say? Yeah. Okay. okay. So I'm going to give you, uh, let's say, six minutes. Firstly, you will have three minutes to read this part. And I'm going to move to the next part 
in six minutes, okay? Okay. Please, in six minutes. Okay. Should start, we start now? Yes, please. Start reading it. Please read with focus. I want you to focus on the information because I'm going to read to you what to what to what to write, which information you should include and why also. Okay, guys, did you finish this page? Yeah, uh, I'm in the last yeah. paragraph. Okay, please. Okay, I'm done. Okay, now this is the second part. Please read it carefully. Okay. Please, once you finish, say I finished or say I'm done. Okay, did you finish or not yet? Uh, last paragraph. Okay. <coughs> I finished. Okay, thank you, Ali. Uh, me too. Thank you very much, Mohammed. And Mohalad? 
last lines, Mustafa. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Now, here, the content should include one, do a course in conducting or watch a video. You should write either one of them or both of them. Two, don't try to um, copy. Wait, 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 Mr. What do you mean by uh, that question? Here, when you summarize, you should include yeah. these points, okay? Oh, so you mean uh, I should summarize from the par paragraph? Yes, when you summarize, you should, you should include these points. So should I write them and then okay. I should read? So you got should it? I write, should I write these and then answer them when I No, 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 I will, I will tell you, I will tell you. But okay. these points should be in your summary. Don't try okay. to copy movements especially or find your own way to move your arms. Three, be confident in your movements. Three, be passionate about the music or relax into the music or move freely with the music. Five, practice power poses or don't give the impression of being weak or stand in a way that makes you seem bigger. Six, don't apologize. Seven, make eye contact. Eight, have good rhythm. Nine, look at everyone or don't ignore anyone or engage with everyone. These points should be in, uh, in your summary of the text which you have just read. Okay, when you summarize a text. Now, we come to the explanation of a summary. How to summarize? When you summarize a text, firstly, you should use your own words as much as you can. That means at least you should use 70% words of yours. Okay, this is number one. Two, you write the most important points only. You don't write the explanation of these points. For example, if I say, for example, Muhammad, Muhammad or Ali uh, is a good student. I, I, I am writing in my text, one of you, let's say Ali is a good student. He prepares his homework. Uh, he understands easily. He reads, he studies at home. He studies well, blah, blah, blah. What we say, what we, when we summarize, what we need to write is, Ali is a good student. The, the explanation of this one, we don't need to write it at all. You got it, guys? Okay. Muhammad, yes, yes. Muhammad yes. and Ali, is that okay? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, yes. but instead of saying, Ali is a good student. This is what is written in the text. I may say, Ali is, I use a synonym for the word, for the expression good student. Let's say, Ali is one of my best students. You got it, guys? I didn't okay. Get it Which right, gives. So not to write like the text. It's better to paraphrase. It's better to paraphrase as much as you can. You need to use a max 25 to 30 percent of what is written precisely in the text. You got it? I mean the, the expressions. For example, do a course on conducting or watch a video. This one, you may use other expressions giving the same meaning. You got it? For example, uh, let's say do a course in conducting. Who may use another sentence giving the same meaning of this one? Who may tell me? Yes? And instead of do a course, you may say, 
join a course. Got the idea, guys? Is that okay? Yes. yes. Which gives the same sense. I just changed the word do. I put join. Watch a video. <clears throat> Instead of watch a video, you may see, you may say, see some lessons online or on CDs. Got it? Yes. Any, any questions here? Not yet, yes, sir. Uh, Ali, Muhammad, and Mukhalad, do you have any questions? Uh, not yet, yes, uh, no. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, thirdly, when you summarize, do not write points here. As, can you see the, uh, uh, the arrow, the mouse? Yes. Do not write points as one, two, three, four, five. No, don't write points. Make it as a text. Okay? Make it as a text. That means make it as a reading passage. Okay? Okay. 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 Now, uh, <clears throat> the most important thing is that do not make your writing less than 100 or more than 120 words because you are going to be deducted. That means you are going to lose marks here. <coughs> Make your writing grammatically correct too. Okay, guys? Okay. 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 <coughs> Let me repeat. When summarizing a text. <coughs> Sorry. I need to drink a sip of water. When summarizing a text, you take the most important points only. If you need to give an example which is written in the text, if you need it only, you may write it. But it's better not to do that. Okay? Secondly, uh, if you uh, need if you need, just if you need, to write an example which is written in the text, just write one. But it's better not to do that. Okay? okay. This is number one. Number two, take the most important points which carry a new idea from the previous one which you wrote. That means, do not write the explanation of the point that you wrote. Okay? Okay, Mr. Okay, guys. Number three, the most important thing. Summarizing means you need to use at least 70% of your own words. So at least 70% of your own words. That means to use your own words as much as possible, as much as you can. Okay? Okay, guys? Okay, Mr. Okay, please, for further questions, ask me now. One by um, one. One by one. Gosh. Yes, Muhammad. Yes, Muhammad, ask. Uh, uh, I don't have any questions. Okay, thank you. Muhammad, have you got any questions? Uh, will we summarize at this uh, lecture or uh, you will give it as a homework? I will give it as homework. It's better. And after you do it as homework, we, our next lecture, our next live lecture, which will be after tomorrow at 12, precisely, not at 12.30, 12 precisely, okay? We are going to discuss what you summarized, okay? Okay, uh, Ali, any questions? Uh, no. No questions, Ali? No. No, okay. Let me show you this one again. This is conducting an orchestra, please. This lecture, uh, you may just take a picture for it. This one, okay. Then you will have the next one, 
the uh, complement of this text, which is here. Can you see it? Please, you may just uh, take a picture for it. Okay. Uh, now, yes, please just take a picture. Now, you will have what you should include in your summary. By the way, in the text, I mean, in the real test, in the actual test, they don't, they don't tell you what you should include in your summary. No. They just give you the text, the passage. Okay? But to make it easier for you, as the first lecture, to make you understand it more, and also the second lecture of the summary, I will do the same. Okay? To make it easier and simpler for you, I'm doing that. Okay, guys? Okay. Any no, objection? No, I'm sorry. No objection? Everybody? No, no. Thank you. What you should include in your summary is that. These points. These points. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now, if you have any questions, please ask me. No questions, I'm everybody? No questions. No questions. No questions? No. Well, thank you very much. This lecture is recorded and is going to be uploaded on my YouTube channel. And I'm going to post it tomorrow. If I could post it tomorrow on your page of Edmodo. Okay. And uh, for those who did not attend, they are going to do it as homework. And I'm going to give them another homework also. Uh, please, uh, your homework is summarizing this lecture, this text, I mean, and please submit after tomorrow. Not tomorrow. If you could submit tomorrow, that's a great. If you couldn't, submit it after tomorrow, and it's also great. Okay? Uh, next lecture will be at... 12 after tomorrow not tomorrow after tomorrow not at 12 30 it will be at 12 thank you for attending this lecture and thank you for uh doing your homework in advance <laughs> okay so one more question one more question yes please like, ask uh, for the first one like can you give us an example how do you mean like uh, for the first one, should I just say join a course uh, in uh, conducting? No, 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 no. Start, look, if it says here, I've had some strange requests from my editor in the past. I've been to a concert in a prison. I've attended a performance where each member of the audience had to listen to the music through individual headphones. I've watched bands playing on rooftops, but I was not prepared when my editor agreed to one morning with these words. How do you feel about trying a conduct, uh, to conduct an orchestra? You may say, I've had some strange requests from my editor in the past, okay? Firstly, I was asked to join a course in conducting or oh, see, see a video online, a video online, or buy, buy, buy some CDs, buy some CDs. You got it? Oh, yes, I got it. Thank you. Okay. It's just summarizing. Yes, yes. Okay. Any questions? No, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. See you no, after no, tomorrow, no. guys. See you, Mr. Bye. Bye.